And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last expedition of the week. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, these are where we're doing our expeditions because you get to do three expeditions a week and get the prizes from those. <laughs> that loud chewing sound. That's my puppy dog chewing on a bone. She's in here uh, chewing on a bone. Um, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that's not too loud for y'all. Um, I have some other people kind of working at the house right now, so I have the dogs in, in here with me. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. So yeah, so this is our last day for this, and then we'll be doing all sorts of constructed uh, for our other videos. Um, we got two new decks, Kinku Elusives, Ezreal Elnux, that we'll play later on, two very popular meta decks that I haven't tried out. But first, let's get our, our uh, trial number one going with this expedition let's get a seven win just like yesterday we got that seven win draft yesterday let's see what we got all right we got brahm lonely poro and poro snack so we can we can build a poro deck i have never ever ever played a poro deck before so that's something different um i don't know so Poro Snacks, four mana burst grant poro allies everywhere plus one plus one i don't know if poros are actually any good um <laughs> cdn says no 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 uh yeah poros may not be very good <laughs> Remus says that's it's so bad but it's so good uh besides that we can go darius which we know darius is very strong and then we have a good removal spell with culling strike and a an okay you know an okay five drop if you can get a bunch of stunned and recalled it just makes this card better and better or we can go lux this is probably the best bucket lux with prismatic barrier that's a really nice combo and then silver wing scouts you know fine it's just an it's an average mediocre draft card um so we want to you know get our seven win i don't know do we do we go meme style and take the poros and try to build a poro deck for the memes or do we do we go serious and take darius or lux So, good news is this is our first draft where <laughs> everybody is voting for the Poros. Voted Poro, do it. All right, fine. We'll 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 uh, we'll try. We're gonna try to force a Poro deck. We'll see if we can. So Poros are usually like these little tiny things. Um. <laughs> All right, fluffed and tuft for the true Poro connoisseur. All right, we'll see. We'll see how this works. Um, what do you pair Poros with? <laughs> we got Heimerdinger with a couple of good cards. We have Fiora, Swiftwing Lancer. Those two are both, are both very good, but I really don't like this Mage Seeker Persuader very much. And then we got Zed, Sparring Student, Keeper of Masks. These are all kind of low cost aggressive creatures, so we probably want to keep probably want to do it with like this Shadows and Dust and just get the low cost aggressive creatures to go along with our poros so i'm thinking zed sparring student keeper of masks because keeper of masks when i'm summoned give other allies plus one plus zero if we have like a bunch of like small poros i want to play this give them plus one plus zero that sounds like a, a good thing or like sparring student uh you know you can play this play a bunch of other poros make it make it pretty big so i guess that's our best option what's up jay jack we are trying a crazy deck here. All right, so Fluffed and Tuft for the True Poro Connoisseur says take an Avalanche and a Navori Conspirator. The Navori Conspirator definitely makes sense. Like this, this card's probably really good um, with some of our Poro stuff. You know, like summon this, create a random 1-1, one, one, pick it back up. Avalanche doesn't seem to fit our game plan though. Hey, what's up, Yud? Yeah, I'm going to try a Poros for the first time. But it does say, you know, this does say for the, this is the bucket for the Fluffed and Tough, so maybe I should just take it. Um, this is double Shadow Fiend? That's kind of crazy. Double Ephemeral like that. And then we have, I guess I don't really like either of these other two buckets, so yeah, I guess we'll go with this. I don't know if Avalanche really fits, but yeah, Avalanche does work well with Braum. And I guess if we, if we make like a bunch of like chump attacks that they like block out and they think they have good blocks and they think they kept like all their creatures alive and then we're like, boom, Avalanche. I don't know. All right, so the Fluffed and Tuft bucket is a Take Heart 
in an Averrosian sentry. The sentry makes sense. Take heart, grants a damage ally plus three plus three. That could work with Braum, but a lot of these other things are just going to be too small. Like whenever they take damage, they die. So that won't really work too well. We have Omen Hawk, which is amazing, and Ancient Yeti, which actually, I was actually pretty impressed with Ancient Yeti whenever we played it the other day. Or we could go Inspiring Mentor, which is not as good as it used to be, and Jeweled Protector, which is better than it used to be. Um, and so I like that bucket too. So I actually kind of like all these buckets. Um, hey, what's up to Mellow and Rex? Hey everybody! Yeah, we're just getting started. We're we drafted some poros. First time I'll ever I'm ever gonna play a poro. Like this is gonna be my first poros. We got lonely poro and poro snacks. Um. Anyway, I like jewel protector a lot. I think this card is really strong now. Five mana four four is a really good body, and then you just get to give an ally in hand plus three plus three. I think that card's awesome. Y'all know me. I like omen and and like the thing is is we have a bunch of cheap stuff. Like we probably need some more some big impactful cards. And I think Jeweled Protector can be that. And I think Jeweled Protector can work really well if we can get some flyers. You know, like making this Conspirator a 6-5 flyer is a pretty big game. So I think I'm going to go this route. Take Heart is the best card, really. Y'all are saying Take Heart. Yeah, three people in a row. Take Heart wins games. Take Heart on Braum is huge. Okay. All right, if y'all want to do... I've never really played Take Heart before. So if y'all are saying Take Heart wins games and it's the best card, we'll go that route. Because I like this Averrosian Sentry. I like this entry, so... All right, we'll just kind of continue. But I guess... I mean, I guess we could just... They kind of, like, draft for you if you want. You could just take the the card that says Fluff... The bucket that says Fluffed and Tuffed every single time for the true Poro Connoisseur. So you could just take the Poro Buckets... <laughs> We got a 1 mana, 1-1 one, one Nimble Poro with Quick Attack and the Mighty Poro. <laughs> Rhyme Tusk Shaman's the best card by like a long ways. Here, this card's ridiculous, but this is these are the Poros. Um, so take the Poros. So are y'all just saying take the Poros? You can check the, check the votes. Votes are even on the first two. <laughs> Need lots of Poros to buff. All right, yeah, let's take the Poros also. All right, well, we'll just take take all the Poros and hope we get some more Poro snacks. Um, hmm. So these didn't really, these don't really help us, do they? Maybe I take they who endure. Because if we're going to have like a whole bunch of like Poro creatures that die, they who endure can just be an absolutely huge creature. And then let's see, Tall Tales needs a Yeti. Poros, of course, aren't Yetis. Yeah, Tall Tales is pretty bad. Yeah, these are not these are not good buckets. Zutvar, seven wins in Expedition. Great job. You went Teemo and Braum. Nice. All right, so I guess you know we'll try to we'll try to switch out this tall tales because yeah this is not a very good card but they who endure is awesome so we'll try to like switch it out later. All right, we can get a, another lonely poro in a century. We can get another they who endure and a trapper, or a sparring student and a shadow assassin. So the only one that has a poro is this one, but they who endure can give us some top end because we're probably going to need some top end. But this is the bucket with the Poro. <laughs> Everybody's voting for the, for the fluffed and tuft. Puppy, puppy, stop. <laughs> Look at how lonely that little guy is. You can't pass him up. All right. I will be surprised if this works. I, that's, I'll say it like that. I'll be surprised if this works. Sown Seeds could kind of be good. Grant our allies in hand plus one plus zero. We're not really casting spells. The Skilled Snapper is pretty whatever. I guess I'm going to take this one and just try to grant our allies in hand plus one plus zero. 
<laughs> yeah, we may not may not win, but this will be the fun one. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna take this la this column over here. I don't know. Is Elixir of Iron better? Just Starlight Seer is not really doing stuff. Elixir of Iron's kind of cool. No, I'll just take this. Because the Life Blade, we can turn it into like a 5-5. Five, five. Oh, no, we didn't take that other card. Never mind. Oh, well. All right, so Take Heart plus Iceborne Legacy. Grant an ally and all allied copies of it everywhere. Plus one, plus one. Those don't really help. Yeti Yearling and Babbling Bjerg. Shadow Fiend and Shadow Assassin. I mean, I guess I just take... Do I just take another Take Heart? This Iceborne Legacy isn't very good. Doesn't seem like it, at least. It's definitely not very good. Yeti Yearling is probably okay. Babbling Bjerg. So when I'm summoned, draw a unit with 5 plus power. I don't even think we have a unit with 5 plus power. We don't. So like that, we don't even have anything for that to draw right now. Yeah, so right now we don't even have any targets for Bjerg. This Iceborne Legacy is also pretty bad. Hmm. I don't know. Guess we're going to try. Heart of the Fluffed, play, combine all our Poros into Fluffed of Poros. It gains their stats and keywords. I have never seen this. Fluffed of Poros, it's a 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Last breath, summon a Heart of the Fluff. That seems like, that seems like our card. That's the Poro payoff? Okay, well, I guess we'll take that thing. Heart of the Fluffed. Oh, we got a Poro Snacks. Okay, so we get a Nimble Poro and a Poro Snacks. This deck, though. All right, uh, Scar Maiden Reaver, Kindly Tavern Keeper, Dawn and Dusk, Alpha Wild Claw, Usari, and Recall. I think I'm going to take this Enlightenment for like these, you know, Wild Claw can be powerful. Dawn and Dusk on a Wild Claw, I guess, could be powerful. Okay, so we want to do Iceborne Legacy on Mighty Poro, because then if we can get Braum to start spawning Mighty Poros, then they'll be buffed also. Okay. I could see that. Yeah, Dawn and Dusk on a on a Heart of the Fluffed could be pretty sweet. Cause then whenever you play them, um, you get some fluff to the poros. Rav Welke getting this up. Uh, thank you so much there, Blade. Santa Blade. Thank you. All right, so we just do another Avalanche and a Nimbo Poro. Nimble Poro. I suppose you get double sparring student, Twin Disciples and Usari. We may want Twin Disciples Usari, honestly. Um... This one just says Poro, of course. This is probably like the better bucket. <laughs> All right. Yep. Y'all are telling me to take the Poro. All right. So this is another Poro and a Conspirator. Hey, what's up, Storm? We, we are taking a... Pretty weird deck. We're drafting a pretty weird deck here, Storm. We're drafting all of the cards that are Poros. We're going to have a bunch of, like, one mana 1-1s one and then hopefully win with one mana 1-1s. One 
I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm skeptical. Yeah, I hope we win a game. All right, let's, I'm going to take the Twin Disciples. All right, we can get rid of the Tall Tales for a century. That's good, because I want to get rid of that card. I also want to get rid of the Legacy. So these are good trades. No, we'll keep this. So either one of these would be good trades. Um, neither of these cards are very good, Tall Tales or Iceborne Legacy. We have two Legacies. I think Reaver is just going to be an important card for us to have, probably. More than Century, you know, like we're looking at our deck. I'm going to take, I want the Reaver. Yeah, neither are good. Tall Tales is worse than Legacy. But we can only get rid of one of them for now. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the power of the Poro yet. All right, replace that. And replace this. And I guess I'll replace that too. All right, we got our Heart of the Fluffed. Ooh, we got a dar we got a daring poro. <laughs> Think you're fast? Oh no, they played a one three, we're dead. We can't handle a one three. I think it's too big. Now the lo the lonely Poro, whenever you play another Poro, turns into jubilant Poro. Yeah, I could see Heart of the Fluffed being good. I am the blade in the darkness. Boo. I could see that being good. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Um Ezreal? Kinda dead. So yeah, that, that gets rid of that gets rid of those poros for the heart of the flock, but I want to kill this Ezreal. I know our poros. It is weird playing one mana one ones and Ugh, Poro snacks. It is kind of weird playing a bunch of one mana one ones and then pyroclasms. Yeah, now there'll be one mana TTs. Always a way out. That's true trues. Here's our chance. Set it all ablaze. Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Okay, well, I mean, they're at 15, we're at 19. We have just as many cards in hand. We got a 4 or 5 in play. We're not doing too bad. All right, so last breath, we summon a Heart of the Fluffed. 
So then we get the 4-4 four four whenever it dies. Oh, am I supposed to wait on this this wow, thing? Did you see that? I wasn't strong enough. Think I should have saved it? Attack. Hmm. We've been stunned. Looking for a daring escape? I dare you. I assume they're just going to play that again. No, they didn't play it. Darn, I just wasted all that mana. I assume they're just going to play it, then it, then I'd avalanche. I, that was pretty greedy of me. Should have just avalanched. Try to keep up. Yeah, that was very greedy of me. Still get to respond, right? What? I don't get to do anything else? River shape the land and give it life. Ugh, they just never play that eager apprentice. And I want them to. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Finally. At least they played something into it. No. All right, well. I obviously got really punished for waiting so long. Okay, well, that was that was me being way too greedy that game with that avalanche. Could have used it and just killed these three twos a long time ago. Wish I would have done that. Old masks let young eyes see clearly. We will reform. <laughs> the bounce in the one drop. Okay. Oh right, they have Yasuo out. From the river or Yasuo. The waters are still. Last. 
last, I have found you. Yone. Turn back while you can. I follow only one path. My own. All right. Well, I didn't play that one the best. But even if I would have cast that avalanche earlier, it doesn't look like we're going to be winning that. All right, so I can trade away the legacy and get another Heart of the Fluffed. I'm absolutely doing that. Um, or get rid of the Tall Tales that I want to for a Jeweled Protector. But now nah, we're getting the Heart of the Fluffed. Okay, we got two Heart of the Fluffs. Hey, Harem King. Yeah, I made I made like a I, I waited too long on an avalanche and then they had deny and they they were able to counter it. But we're we're playing a a Poro deck. And And we need everything to line up for us. You'll thank me later. Like us drawing our champions, or a champion not dying right away. D for two. Um Ooh. I'm glad I waited on a turn on that. Cuz I was thinking like that that's just going to use my spell mana anyway. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Don't kill my Zed right away. Okay. Let's go, Zed. This isn't part of the training. So Mighty Poro can trade with Reckless Trifarian. They probably just go straight to, to combat. These are dangerous. No, land. all right. I'll play the I'll tr play the Mighty Poro. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to keep Mighty Poro alive for Heart of the Fluffed. I guess. I guess I could do that. Bleh. What if I take eight? I don't know. We'll see if see if this is okay taking that damage. They won't suffer long. I have many Why am I not attacking with this? What am I doing? Definitely need to attack with the Mighty Poro. So next turn we'll be able to play Heart of the Fluffed. So we're going to have one, two, three for this turn. Embrace the shadow. So I'm, pro I'm planning on playing this Poro, whatever Poro it gives me and the sentry, and that leaves me one extra mana so I can put it over here so I can have twin disciples available. We really want the, the elusive Poro. Come on, elusive Poro. Ah, fearsome por Poro. Can 
see the Devastian border from here. Because Jewel Protector giving an elusive plus three plus three is super, super scary. Give me a sweet bun. Heightens the senses. Um. Yeah, I got to play this. All right. So we'll play that. That's my best plan. The eleven nine overwhelm fearsome. Heard you're new in the area. Okay. That's not as bad for me as a huge flyer. Ugh. So do I what happens whenever this gets recalled? You just lose all those poros? You just lose everything? Really? Well, that's devastating. <laughs> that's why it's a bad deck. That's why there's no other reason. Yeah, I mean, dead. Light the signal fires. Oh. All right. Well, we we tried playing a Poro deck, and very predictably, we did not get any wins. Um, I mean, I could have played the first one better with the Avalanche, but even if I would have, we were like, we still probably weren't winning that first one with how they had the Yasuo, uh, transformed everything like that. Um, <laughs> so unfortunately we didn't get, didn't have like the Poros just don't have enough power. Poro power, not strong enough. Um, it did look like a good plan until the recall. Yeah. If they didn't bounce, you know, if they didn't have the bounce spell, or, you know, any interaction at all, we had a pretty decent plan. Because, uh, you know, it was 11-9, we were going to be able to pump it up 3 to make it 14. Plus, we had we had two other ways to pump it, uh, so 16. We could have made a 16-power trampling attacker. Um, yeah, we need to we needed to attack with the fluff, but uh, didn't quite get to that part. Um <laughs> Oh, well, all right, so our trial two, we got a lot of pressure on us for trial number two to get that seven wins um, with coming up empty the first time, but we can do it. We can do it. All right, well, that's it here for Poro Power, our first uh, trial. Uh, you know, didn't work out super well, but it was it was different, and so that was fun. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. If, you tr if you're trying a Poro deck yourself, and if you're having any kind of success, or you know, if you're if you're not, just, just if you're having fun with poros, you know, leave that comment down below. Let me know what you think of the poros, and uh, you know, feel free to leave like a deck list if you've if you've drafted poros and if you've gotten wins with poros in expedition mode. Let me know. That'd be cool. All right. Um, all right. Uh, there we go. All right. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.